So how are we going to help her? It's quite simple, actually. Don't even have to walk all that far with our troops. We're going to put them all to raiding. Everyone becomes a raider. Then we go raid. The lands of this uprising. That way, they become hostile to us, despite us not being involved in any war. So now we can go with our army, which is quite formidable. And I still don't... Why do you always insist on putting the king on the side? So now I can just kill the army for her. And also make a little bit of money. Ah, oh god. A lot of people are joining the defensive pact against us. Because apparently we are threatening now. I wouldn't know how or why. God. Someone killed a child. Who would do such a thing? Certainly not us. Who would never do such a thing? Yes, let's have a non-aggression pact with the Umayyad. Who are definitely very important to us down there in Spain. But we'll just crush the armor for her. She has enough troops. She doesn't need our help. But she gets it anyway. Fingers of St. John the Baptist. Discount price for boxes of 10. A bishop brings to your attention that false relics have been sold at the market at great profits. They do, of course, generate a lot of commerce and taxes, but it's still rather immoral and blasphemous. Well, we shall crack down on the on the blasphemers. Now let's ask King Morand, who just killed a child, to spend some time with us. And... Oh! There are some holy warriors as well now. And we get to talking. These cannot be... set as raiders. But that's fine, because they, the enemy is still our enemy, so we don't even need them to be raiders. We can just send them and fight. Oh, cool. So this worked out fantastically bad. We got into a shouting match. Let's go pillage a bit. And just have our holy warriors take care of the enemy. While we raid. They're not very good. But they're good enough. To help out without helping out. They're just plundering everything, really. Alright, our diplomat is helping us out to get this back in order. Let's actually get out of her hair. I think she's trying to siege here. So, siege she shall. Right, is there another uprising? Yeah, up there, but I can't fight those. She has to do it. Right, let's stand down those Catholic zealots. Yeah, I can't fight those for her. Can I join her war? Uh.
Well, I could tell her to surrender to the world. I could tell them to make peace with Mercia. So let's tell them. Costs me 100 prestige. But I don't want this new peace being completely destroyed here, so I'd rather step up and in. So he has stopped his scheming. Who else is there? This guy. Can't tell him to back off. But she should be winning this one. Great, he's improving relationships left and right there. Doing well. But can he stop being in war? All these infidels down there? Let's go kill the troops of the enemy for her. Elbrick is such a caring sister, always ready to lighten up the mood during a somber family dinner or play with the children. Even though we may disagree from time to time, I cannot deny her accomplishments as a sister. Ow. She's a jovial patriarch. But she would like to acquire a title, which is not really possible. I'm sorry, love. I'll just have to live with what you have. Good, let's get out of Mercia's hair over here. She needs to siege on her own. And I just need to help her win those. Oh, up, up, up. Nope, we're not going there. Where did these guys come from? Let's not meet, in fact. Let's combine down here. There we go. No, 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 no. No, you don't. No, you do not. You leave her alone, I tell you. All right. Let's spare a few words for the man. Perfect, okay. So what's bigger than a kingdom? It is indeed an empire. Prestige over 8,000, gold over 1,000. Yeah, we don't really have that. So let's check. What are you de jure part of? The Empire of Britannia. We cannot create it yet. We need to have two kingdom titles. 400 piety, which we're far away from. We need to control 30%, uh, which we do not yet. No, we need to control 80%, but we have only 40, so... You're nowhere near, but that's that's realistically the next goal in this. Can you stop putting the siege guy on the side? Please. Alright, someone died. My bishop. Shame. Let's see if we can't find someone really, really qualified for this. This guy, he looks qualified. What did we lose up here? Court physician. Let's get the qualified guy, he also likes us. Master of the hunt. And let's have him be the master of the hunt. So we're still looking out for these guys. Let's have him marry because he likes to. You can have her. Nope. Doesn't want to. But you can be. 
lower court physician. My mister, sir. There we go. And you go build zeal. So we get all the good, good piety out of this. And we'll have to go right down here in a moment. To beat him back. Really wish I could join her war. Cannot. <laughs> Shame for you. I think we've beaten them finally. For now at least. You can still raise new troops. So how is your war going? 32% in her favor. Yeah, there are a few troops around here. My steward has sought me out with his concerns regarding the search for the relic. He asked me to issue a decree allowing the treasure hunters to appropriate the resources and men they need for the local burkas. So taxes, well, city vassal, yeah, sure. Let's have it all. And I swear this relic better be good at the end. But we're earning so much gold. Mainly from raiding all of this, really. Which is just fine. Alright, there's some troops down here again. She has raised a few more. Who are you fighting there? What? What is that rebellion? Who are these? Who are you? Make peace. I swear to God. Can your people stop? Distinguished King Flythry. I wish to formally invite you to my court for a period of festivities leading to King, the King of Asturias. What are you even? I've never been to a coronation, so it might be fun. Let's go. Let's go on a coronation. Alright. We have a chance to become zealous. Or cynical. We're going to go for zealous. There we go. And I believe we can stand down our troops now. During the evening, King Ricard II has remarked on multiple occasions of how it is important for a new ruler to create stable diplomatic relationship with his peers and subjects in order to ensure peace and prosperity for everyone. What a sentence. His show of a dialect... Oh no, of dialectics has been a revelation for all the guests. So we get some prestige and a chance to get plus one diplomacy. Which we did not get. I think we can raid Vesek still. We have a border here. So let's raid Vesex to the ground. Alright, we get some piety and prestige. Not the worst thing. The Pope blesses him and places a royal crown upon his head, proclaiming him King of Asturias by grace of God. Nice. And we are back from our journey. Time to lead the siege again. Back from a journey into the saddle. And you are still- oh, you're doing nothing for once. You're in a defense pact against us. And you would rather not join us. As a vassal. Yeah. Well, war it is then, my friend. Such a shame. It cannot be helped. What's going on up here? Who's fighting whom? What is this? So much infighting going on. Got some technology points here. I think we might go and enforce realm peace. 
I have a feeling this this is becoming a little bit necessary. I've never done it before. I also don't even know how to. And why is my wife not pregnant yet? I need concubines. We need heirs. Right, let's find suitable concubines. Let's see if there's a genius out there. No. A strong girl? Nope. A quick girl? Nope. A attractive girl? One. Right. Then we shall go with lustful, maybe. Nope. Only one as well. That's not great. Let's invite her. She has Midas touched, which is pretty good. And... Let's invite her. And let's get all of them. Well, she's homosexual, so... Not all that fertile. But let's get them all. So where do I enforce realm peace there? Enforcing realm peace will end all internal wars between your direct vassals. The peace will take effect three months after it has been decreed and will last for five years. And so it shall be. People are for it, some are against it. Well, we shall enforce it. Peace shall rule in our realm. So stop all this silliness. Um, no, 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 no. Take her as a concubine. I'm still thinking about King Rickard's second coronation. While I'm yet to be d anointed, King Rickard is already flaunting his crown. We become envious. We can't even be crowned. We are not feudal. Only feudals can be crowned. Right, okay. But this should increase our chances of having a child. And an heir. The wife of King Rumbold has been spending a few days in Umarheim. It has been a very nice experience meeting her. Let's suggest a non-aggression pact with the King of Burgundy. Not that it matters to us, but... Sure. The usurper has usurped the title of... Uh, yeah. Why am I not surprised? I guess... I enforced realm peace a little bit too late. Oh, well. It's fine. Cannot be helped. Where are my troops? There. Still plundering away. Let's stop trying to sway him. He's not going to want to be our vassal. Look at that. New troops to kill. The warrior women of Ireland. She's not bad. Let's see if we can pair her up with someone who's also not bad. Uh, yeah, let's have him. Keep it in the family. Alright, we're done with our raiding days right now. They shouldn't be a threat to her. She should be fine now.
Well, I could press her claim like this, actually. But is it for everything? Nah, let's just wait this war out. Let's see what happens. She'll win. She won't need me. And we still can keep an eye on her. Just in case. We can create some uh, duchies. Which we're not gonna. What are you? Karantanian. Southern Slavic. What in the world has happened here? Alright, we've improved relationships again. He doesn't want to be our, our vassal. No. Kingdom of Asturias and Petty Kingdom of Cronwell. Is that so? Well, my friend, you've had your chance. This might go wrong. I didn't check anything. Why, it's not gonna go wrong. Look at all these troops joining me. Readily. We're immediately going to jump him. Not even giving him a chance to reflect. The wife can do something as well. Let's have a tributary in here. Yes. Let's have something big besiege this. Does anyone want to pay for him? Nope. No one wants to pay for him. And everyone else just does their thing. Should be absolutely fine. Yeah, look at this. Not going too well for you, is it? King Morant Ironside. It's not how you envisioned envisioned this, have ya? Well, gives us a little bit of prestige. And he becomes part of Ireland. So now it's finally and utterly knighted. He, of course, will hate us. Oh no, actually... We have uh, improved relationships enough. Oh no! Our guy searching for the artifact has kind of died searching for the artifact. Not ideal. Really isn't. Well, let's see. Our oh, steward. No one really good for this. Let's find someone good. Wrong filter. Uh, let's have him, actually. He likes us a little bit better. Uh-huh. People are still forming defensive pacts against me. All right. You, my friend, shall immediately go search for the artifact. We don't want to give that search up. And you end your plot. And you end your plot. A passing judgment onto criminal. All right. Being noble birth means nothing to the dungeon with him. Oh, right. I think the vassalization war there kind of took something out of us. Yeah, you people stop with your plottings. Oh, lucky. An uprising. 
that is going to be handled by our vassals. For once. For once. We're not going to lift a finger. <laughs>